Yeah, call me back. All right. Sam. Sam. We heard about the attempt on Julian's life. What? The attacker struck again. You know, right when I thought he decided to quit while he was ahead. Well, what about my father? Will he be all right? Julian's lost a lot of blood. He's in surgery right now in an attempt to repair the damage. His injury is that serious? <clears throat> is it ever? How was he injured? Well, the attacker stabbed Julian several times. Oh, no. The knife not only severed several of, of, of Julian's arteries, it did severe damage to one of his organs. Oh, my God. Which organ? A kidney? No, uh, a little lower than, than Julian's kidney. So what then? Uh, his liver? No. Uh, a much, much more sensitive organ than that. But why are we playing guessing games? Yeah, can you just tell us what it is, Sam? It's penis. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, what did you say? I, I said that Julian's organ was severely damaged. They severed his penis. That's why they're in surgery right now. Eve is in there to try to reattach his penis. Wait, Eve? She lost her privileges here for being drunk and drugged out. Why is she operating on father? After Teresa's funeral, Julian and Esme decided to get out in the crane mausoleum for a, an encounter. Oh, my God. I love Esme, but she's such a freak. <clears throat> anyway, after they were done, that's when the attacker struck. You know, of course, the attacker was lying in wait. That's why I called you two and helped the investigation. I want you to concentrate on Esme, why Luis and I concentrate on Julian. I will do whatever I can to catch the attacker. Killing my brother was bad enough, but... Dismembering my father? This is too damn much. Good for you, Fancy. I wish I was a cop so I could help, too. Just be strong for Julian. I will. I'm waiting for Julian to come out of surgery so that uh, when he regains consciousness, Luis and I can question him in detail, see if he can ID the attacker. Well, what about Esme? Didn't she see anything? Well, evidently she was asleep. You mean passed out? Well, yes. You know, unfortunately, by the time Esme got her wits about her, the damage had already been done to Julian. Oh, man. I'm just hoping that Julian saw something to help us ID the attacker. Uh, Luis, why don't you come with me to the OR? We'll see if uh, Julian's out of surgery so we can question him. I, I want to come, too. To be with Luis? No. To see Father when he comes out from under anesthesia. Look. I can relate to him being hideously disfigured. You can't. Pretty, I, I think you should stay here and be with Fancy. Okay, I don't think Julian's going to be allowed visitors anytime soon. Yeah, we'll fill you in on what Eve says about Julian's prognosis, okay? See you later. And you too, just remember this is about Julian, okay? Not about whatever issues you two have going on. Okay, pretty the truth. Why are you here? Um, Julian's my father, too. And you knew Luis would be here, right? Well, he is a cop, and he has been investigating Esme's attacker, so... Luis is mine, so back off. You can come here claiming it's out of concern for our father, but we both know you want FaceTime with Luis. Now, FYI, I don't think... Uzi the scar is helping. So why don't you go home or go pray for father because hanging around here hoping to score points with my fiance is wasting your time. You don't have a chance with Luis, not even in the slightest. He loves me and we are committed to being together. But Luis doesn't want kids with you until he's sure you're not crazy. I'm another story. You're right. Excuse me? I've come to see that I never had a chance with Luis. After all, the things he said to me after we made love were just in the moment. He was desperate to get me pregnant so that Grandfather would release him to find Marty. I don't blame Luis for leading me on. It was just the situation. You're really giving up on Luis. I never had a chance with him, and I never will. Well, Julian's still in surgery. It's going to be a while until he's lucid enough to be questioned. Yeah. You having forensics check the mausoleum for clues? Yeah. Well, so far there's been no sign of a knife used to... Oh, man. I, I can't even imagine. 
I mean, what man could? I mean, it's horrible to even think about it. Poor Julian. Poor little Julian. That was his best friend. Did, uh... You think Ivy's happy about all this? Nah, I doubt it. I mean, her and Julian have problems, but they realize that Alistair caused them. You think that he's gonna be able to, <clears throat> you know, like, uh, fix it? Well, that's why she's here. Yeah. I mean, let's hope so, for Julian's sake. Yeah, that's... Huh. You're giving up on Luis. Yes, I am. Really? Yes, really. I meant what I said before. I realized Luis only made love to me so that he could be freed to find Marty. He was just being kind when he told me that he loved me. I took his pity the wrong way. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? I'm not sure. You have my word, Fancy. I have given up any fantasies that I had about being with Luis. Is there any word on my father? Julian's out of surgery now and he was moved to a private room. It's still going to be a while before the anesthesia wears off and we can question him about his attacker. Yeah, I'm going to go see if forensics turn up anything at the mausoleum. Luis is going to stay here and question Julian. I'll stay with you. Keep me informed, right? I will. Okay. Mm -hmm. See you later. Where'd Pretty go? Oh, she went to get something to eat. She said her stomach was queasy. Yeah. Well, she's probably upset about her father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. What was that for? Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> Mostly because I love you. But also because for the first time in a long time, I feel like all the dark clouds hanging over us are gone, along with any threat to our happiness. Mm. This is a lot of money, Miss Crane. It's only half of what you'll get if you do what I asked you to. Don't worry. I'll take care of it right away. See what you do. Don't mess this up, honey. The future depends on it. Well, from the looks of things, it's going to be a while before Julian's anesthesia wears off. So, maybe you want to go to the cafeteria, get something to eat. Sure. Yeah, oh, I, I should look for something down in the gift shop for my father when he comes to. That would be nice of you. I do love him, Luis. It's easier for me to forgive my father after knowing what grandfather did to him and my mother. Yeah. Oh, there's pretty... Well, maybe she'll want to join us. Yeah. Um, hey, Pretty. You want it? Pretty. Oh, my God. Pretty. Hey, Pretty. Okay, Pretty.